mother's room despite all hell despite all that he the enemy tried to bring forth God said I called you and I set you apart yes, even then yes, yes. and you didn't even know it your mother didn't know it your daddy didn't even know it nobody knew but God said I've set you apart even then this is a divine moment this is yes, the time yes. that I have waited for says God for this is the moment that the anointing that is coming upon you in double measure this is the moment that the anointing is coming upon you in a power measure that you will know who you are yes. you will never question again from this day forth until the last breath you will never question who God has called you to be who he has anointed you to be for you will go forth yes. in great power and you will go forth with a covering that you have needed and wanted and yes. desired the covering not just the glory cloud covering that minister Beverly said but a covering of this house will be up over yes. you for the apostolic anointing will be covering you and you will go and you will come and you will go and you will come for evangelism shall light up in your innermost being you will begin to hit doors and you will begin to drag them out out of darkness out of hell and you will speak life with such a tongue with such fire with such anointing and such power you will speak life and they will come out of darkness for this is the divine moment that God set forth from the moment you were conceived I heard the word pillars. Pillars. Oh, go over you, praying over you. I've been hearing pillars. And, and even as the temple, there were two pillars that were established. And those two pillars meant he will establish and in strength. He will establish and in strength. And I, I, I speak that over you today. I proclaim that over you today. In every area, in every aspect of your life, he will establish and in strength. He will establish you in strength. Hallelujah. For you have you have certain giftings, you have abilities, and, 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 and you have you have God is enhancing those abilities today for you to 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 uh, to establish to, to establish things in this yes, house, yes, yes, to establish yes, things Lord. in your life. Yes. You have been given those abilities and they've shown up yeah. in the natural and today they shall be enhanced. Today they shall be uh, forwarded in the spirit. Hallelujah. It shall come upon you on this day to a level like you've never experienced before. And today you will know, you will know and you will look back and you will say he has established all things and we are strengthened yes. because of him. And there's no other way yes. that this could have happened. There's no other way that, 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 that we could that, that we could have done it in our own. Hallelujah. But it shall be a remembrance to your family. It shall be a remembrance to this house as the pillars that still stand to the temple. Hallelujah. This morning, I see the Lord standing before you guys like Moses stood in front of the, the, the sea. And, and the Lord is holding a, a staff and a rod. And I see him placing that staff right now in between you. And there's a separation that is happening. The things that were impossible, the things that looked like they were too hard, the things that looked like that you could never get to the other side and walk the path that you were past. The Lord said, I am standing my rod in front of you today. And there is a separation of those things and you will be prepared to walk on dry ground those things that were impossible those things that you felt like you couldn't do those those ministries that he had inside of you but you had never birthed the lord said you will walk on dry ground the things and the, those things that stopped you are separated and they are gone from this day forward head up also even as you establish 
establish yourself more mm. in the Word. Building a foundation that the enemy will not will not tear down, will not destroy. But you are established upon the word. And as you establish yourselves more and more in the word, you will begin to impart that to a, to a generation that more than ever needs to be established on the word and the spirit. And I thank you that you have allowed yourselves to be used of God Right. For this, for this time, and for this, uh, for this assignment, you are on an assignment, and no weapon formed against you will prosper. That's right. But you will overcome every every weapon of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Now, Heavenly Father, we place our hands upon them and we declare and release the covenant of God over them for their behalf. We speak the covering of God that will destroy every weapon that's yes. come against them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to say what I heard in the spirit a moment ago. No more ground brown. Yeah. No more of the eating up and the chewing up. And it seems like it's just consuming who you have been. But I declare there is a new covering. And there's a new life. And there's a new order. And the power and the anointing of God that sets captive free is going to flow through you like never before. I declare vision and insight for the plans and the purposes of God. That the heart and the compassion of God begins to erupt out of your spirit womb and begins to be released upon your people. I call for you by the Holy Spirit to be sewn into the fabric, the very fabric of the culture of this house, into the very nature of the covering of the apostolic anointing and the releasing of the kingdom of God into the realm that God has declared that is going to be transformative to a generation. Transformative to a region. Lives will never be the same. We call forth the transformation to be released in us and through us in the name of Jesus right now. And I call for the anointing of God to flow over you. Let's all reach up. Just lay your hand on them. You stretch your hands towards them. Let's come up, put our hands on. You out there, stretch your hands towards them in the name of Jesus. We speak blessings and covering and favor and anointing and prosperity and life and holiness. Oh, great favor and doors open to you in the name of Jesus. We pray that everything that God has had for you and the enemy has held back, the enemy's hands are broken. He cannot hold it. The enemy's devices are destroyed. It is the anointing of God that is destroying the yoke of bondage. And we declare right now in the name of Jesus, wholeness. Life, health, freedom, blessings, blessings, blessings be multiplied upon you in the name of Jesus. And we all said, Amen. We ordain you into what God already called you to do. Amen. We bless you. We're going to give them their certificates, but if you have a word for them, you just want to speak something to them or, or just bless them, uh, we just invite you to do that. And uh, um, and we bless you if you need to go. Thank you for staying here and celebrating this moment. God bless you. Way to go. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah, you guys are dismissed, but if you want to say something to them, just feel free I'll to pray do that. For you guys. You may have a word. You've you been know? entrusted with yeah. a very important job. You guys taking care of the youth.
taking care of the youth. I pray for God's grace to be on your whole family. Yes. God, and, and I pray this church will stand behind this couple and their family through everything. And we've got your back. We've got your back. And we, we honor you for what you're doing. We thank you thank for you. listening to God and listening to what he wants you to do. And I pray for you guys. And in Jesus' name, yes. thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Love you, guys. Thank you.